I don't want to do this. Netflix right now. Bandit, should we go cuddle and watch Netflix? I think we should. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be cleaning out my closet. Now, I cleaned out my closet a few weeks, not a few weeks ago, maybe like a few months ago. And I got rid of a lot of stuff because I've been holding on to stuff since probably the 8th grade. And I don't think I've worn it since the 8th grade. And everyone has been reading the KonMari book the book that I mentioned in my last video during my reading list and I've read most of it but now I'm kind of too motivated to keep reading I just want to clean and get rid of some stuff so I figured first thing that we can clean out is my closet now let me show you what it looks like so here is my closet it goes down down there to down there we have some stuff down there and then that's my boyfriend's clothes now this used to be packed but I'm currently doing laundry so it looks a lot cleaner than what it usually is and then up there is just a whole bunch of storage so my goal is to kind of Make it easier for me to find clothes. Like, honestly, I don't remember half the time I wore any of any of this. And if you can tell, I really love color. I think my game plan is to take everything out of my closet and out of my bureau over there, put it all on my bed, start going through it. I think I'm going to do four piles. I'm gonna do keep, get rid of, see if my mom wants it, try on. The reason why I have a try on pile is because I am plus size, I find my body changes very often. And in the morning, I don't have any morning routine. So I'm always in a rush. So I never really have time to try something on to see if it still fits. And then it just kind of keeps getting pushed back into the far depths of my closet. So I think I want to have a pile that is stuff that I'm not sure if it fits, but if it fits, yeah, I'm going to wear it. That's awesome. If it doesn't fit, it's got to go. So let's start. But first, we need music. Powering on. Paired. So far, the only thing I think I've been accomplishing is making a mess, but uh, let me show you what I've done so far. Okay, sorry if you're hearing crazy sounds. It is snowing 
like crazy right now and plows are going by and it's kind of hard to see because I just kind of butchered my natural lighting but all of these clothes here are clothes that I need to try on um, same with all these clothes that have been thrown on the bed that pile over there is clothes that I know that I'm getting rid of. I am trying to build the momentum to keep going. Like I got laundry I gotta do. I gotta go through the laundry. I gotta try on the clothes still over there. I gotta go through the clothes on my bed. But I'm slowly crashing. And I think I'm procrastinating because I really don't want to go through my purses because those are my weaknesses. Maybe those will be another video and I can procrastinate a little bit longer. All right, let's do this. Let's just appreciate this giant cat onesie. It has to go. My mom would be so proud. I feel like we need to sit and kind of have like an update time. But first, I think I need coffee. Let's go get coffee. to recap rundown kind of what I've been feeling I realized really quickly I'm gonna have to do this again because you're supposed to keep things that bring you joy and my issue is yeah that thing I wore four years ago it's super cute it brings me joy I can't think like that because I'm not gonna get rid of anything so I don't know I tried going through some things again, but my issue is my body changes quite frequently between month to month. So something that fit me last month might not fit me this month, but it might fit me again next month. And that's just something that my body does, which is why I sometimes have a lot of clothes because I need to make sure that my body fits what, it, what it's gonna fit next month, if that made any sense. But, now I'm kind of stuck. I don't know what to do. Oh, real talk. I think it's really good to purge some of your things. Definitely get rid of things that you no longer need. Clean up the environment. Because when you hold a lot of stuff, that stuff all has energy. Now that could be negative energy, but and that could be positive energy. But all these things around you are taking up attention in your brain. You're looking at so many things. You have to organize so many things. You have to do so much laundry. So by minimizing those things, you definitely clear up space. 
My issue right now is I'm having a struggle on figuring out what I'm getting rid of. Now I've gotten rid of this big giant garbage bag. Now in my first video I spoke about like toxicity and trying to clear up the environment around you. So that's definitely something that I'm working on, but I realize it is definitely a lot harder than I thought. But you know what? That's okay. Because this is a journey. It's not a challenge because I feel like a lot of times challenges are you win or you lose. And I don't want to put myself in that mindset as if I don't do specific things that I'm going to lose. I want this to be a journey where I'm attempting things, I'm trying things out. If something doesn't work, then it doesn't work for me. If something does work, then awesome. Add that to the book of things. And in this journey, like, I'm going to be, I'm probably going to be an emotional wreck at times because there's definitely things that I don't want to do, but I know that I have to do. I know there are things that I just need to experience in order to figure my shit out and like I said in my first video this is this is what this channel is about it's about you know figuring out what works for you and figuring out what you need in your life but still being a friggin boss doing it so I got rid of a bag full of clothes which is awesome like I said purses are definitely going to be something that's hard for me um I think something that I realized today is that I'm missing quite a few essential pieces in my wardrobe which would probably make my life a whole lot easier. For example, I wear little cam like camis, tank tops, under all my clothes, as clothes, like pajamas all the time. And I only have two. All the other ones I just threw out because they all have holes in them. And what kind of impression will that give someone if, you know, I'm out doing grocery shopping and I have a giant hole in my boob? It's not cute. No. You know what? I need to stop saying it's not cute because, you know, live your life, do what you want to do. If you want to wear a shirt that has holes in it, then you wear a shirt that has holes in it. But for my personal, what I want to do with my life is throw away the holes, fill in those gaps. So I definitely need to pick up some camis. Um, I want to get rid of some of my leggings and get more structured pants like jeans. So I'm maybe going to go pick up a black pair of jeans. Um, this is going to be super random, but the time in my life where I felt the best was when I was rocking my cheetah print, my leather jacket my black hair, my septum piercing, like, I was, like, my grunge time was when I felt good as shit, and I was always confident during that time, so, I mean, I think what I kind of want to do to get myself kind of feeling like that again is I want to go pick up some leopard items and leopard pieces because I feel like in the past, I always felt hot when I wore a little leopard number, like a cover up or a sweater or even leather. Like those just those little things I know make me feel good. And I notice in my closet. I'm definitely lacking those things. I think once I've gained weight and realized I didn't fit into those items anymore, I didn't want to go out and buy new things because I was ashamed and I just did not feel like I could look good in uh, those type of things anymore. So screw that. I'm going to go out and buy some cute shit and 
I think that might be my next video. It's kind of pulling in those items that I think that I need in my wardrobe. And then hopefully that can kind of give myself the kick in the butt as well to get rid of those things where I was like, but this does bring me joy when really, no, it brought my past self joy. It doesn't bring me joy now. Something else that's really awesome about, you know, just filming videos is I don't really have an intent. I don't really have any intent of people watching them. I mean, if you watch them and you subscribe, that's awesome. Um, but this is for me to be able to look back in a year, in two years, in five years, in 30 years, to be like, wow, that is where I started. And this is where I am today. Thank you so much for watching my video. It honestly means the world to me when I see like people are watching and people are commenting. And when I see somebody subscribe, it, it makes me so excited because I know that like hopefully you're following me along this journey and you're testing things out as well. And I just really want to make like a good positive community of people helping each other and just trying to be adults um but yeah so if you liked today's video please feel free to give it a thumbs up um and please subscribe down below i'd love to have you in this little tribe in our family and i will see you in my next video bye guys